Welcome to Maryland's Coast Adventures. Welcome to Maryland's Coast Adventure. I'm Dawn Eamon, your host, and we have another marvelous show for you. First, we're going to hear from Susan Petito and Kim Kinsey from OC Rec and Parks all about everything the town has to offer. Then we're headed to Asti Crab House to cook and eat some crabs, so stay tuned. Welcome to Maryland's Coast Adventures, brought to you by Worcester County, Maryland's Coast Naturally Cool, and by Ocean City, Maryland, somewhere to smile about. Joining me now is Susan Petito, Director of Recreation and Parks in Ocean City. I've lived here for a while, and in all the years, I've seen such a growth in the Recreation Department. My kids, they dance, they cheer, they did lacrosse <laughs> camp. I know you've been with the town for 38 years, so can you tell us how you know the evolution of everything's going over all these years? Yeah, it's pretty amazing, Dawn. I mean, the from where we started, um, when I started with the town in 86, we were basically based at Northside Park and we had a bunch of little activities in neighborhood parks. And we are now have 15 recreational areas wow, in town. Oh, I had no idea, no um, idea. A lot of those are small passive areas mm -hmm. or neighborhood parks, but we have some pretty major active parks as well. Mm -hmm. We can start with Eagles Landing Golf Course, yeah. which, um, has been around for about 35 years now and it's a wonderful part of our department our staff there is so conscientious of making sure people are having a good time they have great customer service um, our course is always in great condition and we always seem to be at the top of uh, best public courses in Maryland, so we're really proud about Eagles Landing. Um, some of the other active areas coming into town, Sunset Park is sort of a, a passive nature type of park, but it also has a lot of history because it's where the old train used to come into Ocean City, and we actually were able to secure some of the original bricks mm -hmm. from that train station oh, and wow. incorporate them into the design of that park, so there's a historical significance there. There's some entertainment there, too, from time to time, right? Yes, and so that that park in particular has a covered stage where um, the Town of Ocean City Special Events Department and the Ocean City Development Corporation partner to put activities there all summer long. The next active park that I'd like to talk about just is our 61st Street Racket Center. Oh, yeah. And so we rebranded that from a tennis center to a racket center because we were able to build six new pickleball courts there this year. And so we're very excited. That's been incredibly successful. Um, so now you can um, play pickleball or tennis at the racket center. Mm -hmm. And if you can't get onto one of our free play courts around town, you can always book a, a reservation. Okay, you can make there. a reservation so, yes, there. I think absolutely. one of my girlfriends told me that. She yep. did that for her Mother's Day present was to book a reservation and her family and her went out there and played some pickleball we and had a great time. We have seen groups come out and just have a blast there, so that's great. And then Little Salisbury Park, which is off of 94th oh, yeah. Street, yeah. that's the home of our dog playground, very mm -hmm. popular dog playground, which we've renovated over the last couple of years. And what's great about that is even though you do have to pay to participate and bring your dog to that park, you have to prove that your dog has vaccination records. And so you know that if you're going to that park, the dogs that are there are healthy and, mm -hmm. and safe. safe. Mm -hmm. And then I guess the last park I want to highlight is Northside Park. And Northside Park is, is our home base. That's where the Recreation and Parks offices are. It is a 58-acre park. Um, 35 acres are dry. The others are wetlands. Um, and it has diamond ball fields and rectangular ball fields. It's where our recreation center is, where actually inside that big double gymnasium area, um, we have 12 pickleball courts. So pickleball is the big thing. We yeah, have a lot thing. of indoor pickleball. Mm -hmm. But um, I know there's also access there. I used to teach paddleboarding camp yep. there, and people walk down. There's fishing there. So the water's close by to Northside Park, too, so a lot of benefits from the water aspect as well. 
and I know there's programs for all ages there, all seasons, yep. you know, not just the summer, but winter. I've played indoor volleyball at night, co-ed indoor volleyball. You know, like I said, my kids have done plenty of sports there, basketball as well. So I feel like there's so many options. It's endless. Everybody can find something. <laughs> yeah. And, and really that's true from toddlers up to, you know, older adults, active adults, or even non-active adults. We do have this wonderful program called Ageless Grace, where we have a certified instructor who's on our staff. It's a seated exercise program, but it's really more about brain health. Oh, and wow. it's so popular. It's hard to get into that one too. But yeah, you're talking about the programs, Don. I, I brought, we do two brochures um, throughout the year. Um, one is fall and winter and one is spring and summer. And there are so many pages of things to do. There would be no way that I could talk about all of these things. But um, summertime camps and outdoor activities, um, wintertime, everybody comes inside and our building is open every day, morning till night, just packed with basketball and soccer and futsal and volleyball, as you mentioned, and cheerleading mm -hmm. and dance. And oh gosh, we have so many dance classes. We have line dance for uh, adults, mm -hmm. really, line dance, tap dance jazz dance. Um, I know they performed at Spring Fest they, or Sun Fest yes, to get they, out there and perform. They still do shows like that, which is so much fun for them and for us. Um, and it's great being in the fitness world. You've given people so many options to find something that they love. Yep. And whether it's moving their mind, mindfulness, or moving their body, or meeting new people and connecting in the community, I yeah. think that that's a huge draw of just participating in a program. That even though you live here and sometimes we think it's a small town, there's so many new people to meet and connect and you've done a wonderful job at that. Thank you so much. I mean that that's part of our mission. You know, we want to enhance the quality of life for the Ocean City residents and visitors and uh, by offering fun, safe, inclusive programs for people of all ages mm -hmm. and um, as I said we have these wonderful little start smart programs which are early uh, parent child interaction where they can play together um, all the way up to those senior specialty programs we um, we want everybody to come discover an ocean of fun. That's sort of our tagline. We want you to discover an ocean of fun here in Ocean City because there is so much to do, free and paid, but um, it's worth it. So if you're vi just visiting, just take a little drive and maybe you'll be you know, upon one one day and enjoy the amenities that Ocean City has to offer. Yeah, thank you. I'm here with Callie and Callie loves this park. What's your favorite thing about the park? Because it's so big. So big. And these two places. Yep, two places. Do you like the slides? Do you like this, what we're on like right now? I like that rope thing and this. Okay. The rope thing over there. And do you come here a lot? Yes, I live here. You live? Oh, you, she lives at the park. Mm -hmm. I would like to live at the park, too. Well, ten, it's like 10 minutes to get here. 10 minutes to get here. Oh, traffic, it, 30 minutes, probably. Oh, and yeah. So is this your favorite part of the day, coming to the park, would you say? Yes. yes. Are you ready to start moving this yes. thing? Here we go. Watch out, watch out. Spin me, spin me around. Okay, I know I might be heavier than you. Whoa, we don't want to get too dizzy. Right? No, I can't. I can't. You good? Uh -huh. you, you don't get motion sickness? No. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm terrified I'm going to fall off. You're not. We'll slow down, ready? She's keeping going. And then how do you stop it? Be sure to follow Maryland's Coast Adventures on Facebook and Instagram to keep up with the latest adventures. Just search Maryland's Coast Adventures and join in the fun. If you want your trade-in to be worth more down the road, then shop Toyota, the best resale value brand according to Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com for the third year in a row. On a $45,000 vehicle, see how these Toyotas are predicted to be worth thousands more than the average vehicle after the first five years of ownership. That's performance you can count on. Shop local inventory on buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Whatever the season, you'll surely have the time of your life in Ocean City. Golfers will find 17 area championship golf courses, including Ocean City's own Eagles Landing. Ocean City Golf Club features a totally redesigned and rebuilt Newport Bay course. Rum Point overlooks Assateague Island National Seashore and the Cinepuxet Bay. Lighthouse Sound offers a great variety in terms of both its great visual excitement and strategy. The newest addition to the Ruark Golf family is the Glen Riddle Golf Club. 
Baywood Greens offers golfers the most scenic and spectacular golf on the Delmarva Peninsula. Delaware's premier golf course is the Bayside Resort Golf Club. Bear Trap Dunes Golf Club offers one of the area's most unique and memorable golf experiences on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the Delmarva Peninsula's only championship golf course designed by the legendary Robert Trent Jones Sr. Ocean City, Maryland, great golf is just the beginning. Book your next trip in beautiful Maryland's coast. Stroll the downtown streets and enjoy shopping locally in Pocomoke City, Snow Hill, and Berlin. Dine at farm-to-table restaurants or enjoy the nightlife throughout Ocean City. Looking for outdoor adventure? Reserve your tea time at one of the 17 championship golf courses. Take a ride through Aztec Island National Seashore to view the wild ponies or camp in the Pocomoke River State Forest. Visit the serene landscape and be immersed in nature throughout Worcester County, Maryland. Start planning your trip today. Welcome back to Maryland's Coast Adventures. I'm Dawn Eman, your host, and we've shifted down to 4th Street to check out the new park. I'm here with Kim Kinsey, Recreational Manager. Can you tell us all about what's happened here recently? Well, we're very excited here at Ocean City Recreation and Parks. Um, we just finished our renovations of our whole downtown uh, park uh, complex. So um, we are currently in Ocean Bowl, which is uh, our historical skate park that's been here since 1976. Wow. It's the oldest skate park in the country, the municipal skate park in the country. I had no idea. And uh, we have gone through many renovations and this is our final uh, renovation of the new park that we just finished in June. So this part is uh, features a lot of um, street skate uh, areas which we were lacking in our old park so over next to uh, Ocean Ball we have our basketball courts and um, they used to be right in the other corner of the park and we moved them to this corner now so we have those and then we to your left we have our bass our um, tennis and pickleball courts and which it, is you know, extremely hot uh, very is popular hot. but they are um, co-usage so uh, there's four pickleball courts and then one tennis court. And do you have to sign up online or call or reserve a court as kind of first come first serve? How does that okay, work? Okay so pickleball courts, tennis courts, basketball courts are all first come first serve. Okay. Uh, Ocean Bowl Skate Park you do have to pay and sign up um, and sign a waiver to use. Is it a drop-in rate or can you get a weekly pass or what options so do you have So we there? have daily passes. Uh -huh. um, they are $15. Uh, and then we have a morning pass for those that want to come and just catch a morning session. <laughs> and that would be $8. Before the heat hits, right? Yeah. yeah. And also it's a good time for beginners to come mm -hmm. as well. Not as many people here. Yeah. yeah. And then across the street, there's a playground area, right? Yes. And that looks new to me, too. Yes. So we used to have playgrounds on this side of the park, but we were able to renovate our whole 4th Street area. Um, and we do have two playgrounds. One is all-inclusive with a lot of cool amenities to that area. And then there's another kind of a big kids playground on the other side and that's really cool as well. Well thanks yeah. for sharing all that great yeah, information. No I know as a local I enjoy seeing new things like this and maybe I'll give a pickleball little try today over on the courts. Grace you go. You, you. Oh yeah. Ah. Little paddle up, paddle up. I, you got it, you got it. You got it. That's your forehand. Oh! Did she hit it? And where are you from? I'm from Romania. I'm here from somewhere. I work here. Okay, awesome. Well, we're going to try, or I'm going to try, maybe he'll teach me a little bit, to play a little bit of basketball. Ah! <laughs> I got worked. Okay. My turn. You ready? Okay, As a back. <laughs> Yay! 
Okay. <sighs> Thanks, Susan and Kim from OC Rec and Parks. I'm getting a little playtime on the park before I head to cook and eat some crabs. Moments like this, you're faced with an important question. If a ball lands in a cup and no one else sees it, does it count? You bet your sweet five iron it does. Somewhere to smile about, Ocean City, Maryland. Oh wait, he's still going. Okay. Nice. Welcome back to Maryland Coast Adventures. I'm here with Patrick Brady, owner of the Assateague Crab House. Patrick, how long have you been open here at Assateague Crab House? So Assateague Crab House opened in 1985, um, and I've just recently taken over uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we're located right off of Route 611, uh, on your way down to see the Assateague Ponies. Um, we've just had a fantastic past couple years, and I tell you what, it just keeps getting better down here on 611. That's fantastic. So can I order crabs to go? Can I eat in? What options do you have as far as getting the crabs? Well, the great thing is we can do anything. We can do to go. We can do it in-house. Uh, we actually have it at stcrabhouse.com. You can go right on, place your order, schedule your order, and uh, our system will actually send you a text message when your order is ready. So you don't even have to hang out here. You can kind of just hang out at your campsite. It'll send you the message, and you're good to go. And do you serve anything else besides crabs? So we try to cater to everybody. Obviously, we're a crab house, so we have the snow crab legs, we have the all-you-can-eat oh, uh, blue crabs, but we also have steaks, chicken, a bunch of different options, um, sandwiches, uh, kid menu, so a little bit, of, little bit of everything. Great. Well, Patrick's going to show us now how the crabs are prepared, so stay tuned for that one. So Ed told us all about um, how big they needed to be. These look very large. Yes, these are. And so we're also, when we do this, we're sorting through just to make sure there isn't any dead crabs or anything. Obviously, you don't want to steam any dead crabs. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just kind of making sure that everything is uh, good to go. Right, Ed told us you had to grab them like back here so then their claws, right? Yeah, so if you don't want to get pinched, if you grab them right here, they can never reach around to get you. Okay, well, it yeah. looks like they're grabbing each other, too. Yep, so like I said, you always grab them. But look at the size of those. Were you guys catching those on Ed's? No. This guy. You might not like me in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, though, once we get to the table, you guys are going to like them. Yes. So now we're heading into the steaming phase, and Patrick's going to show me how I get involved with this part of it. Are you ready for this, Don? I think I am. All right. All so right. basically what we're going to do is we're going to take these uh, crabs, we're going to go ahead and fill the pots up, and we're going to season them as we go. Okay. And we're seasoning with Old Bay. Yep. We're seasoning with Old Bay. So just pick them up and throw them in? Yep, and don't get pinched. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, you, you went for a bunch. I guess I need to go for a bunch. <laughs> Look at you, you're a professional now. Oh no, they're falling out there, the police. All right, let's go ahead and season some. Okay. Tell me if it's too much, too little. Hey, how do you like them? A little, I like, I little obey. Like a little? A lot of people like a lot though. I like it spicy. We'll go ahead and do a little bit of obey in this one. That'll be your, that'll be your basket. Oh, okay. I get to be creative and have my own flavoring tonight. All right. And we'll get these last four in here. And then we're going to be ready to start the steaming process. Perfect. All right, go ahead and put yours in. How hot are these? How hot is it? Steam? Yeah. It's over 212 degrees. Okay. Well, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> All ready, and we're gonna put this last one in. And how long do you take to steam? So it's gonna take us 18 minutes, and okay. then we're gonna be serving some nice hot crabs. Perfect, thank All you. All right, so go ahead. Turn and this down. Steam. Right there is good. Right there. See, yeah, look, I can get a facial right here. <laughs> You didn't know there was benefits to steaming crabs, no, did I you? I didn't. Maybe I'll be back here steaming them more often. Hey, you let us know when. All right, now we sit and wait. Okay, thank you.
Since 1988, Coins Pub and Restaurant has been serving up delectable homemade entrees with a diverse menu, all with great customer service. Coins staff is committed to the continuing long tradition of Coins Pub by respecting the old and embracing the new. Coins is still the home of no mumbo, just jumbo crab cakes, and now features a variety of craft cocktails like the Smoky Bullet Old Fashioned. Come enjoy the rich tradition and fun atmosphere of an Ocean City landmark, Coins Pub and Restaurant, 28th Street in Ocean City. Maryland's coast is truly unique, and you're invited to stay here and explore everything there is to see and do. Get ready to go on an adventure to view the wild ponies of Assateague Island National Seashore. Be immersed by beauty at the various art galleries. Book your tea time at one of the 17 championship golf courses, or visit the downtown areas to indulge in delicious food and shopping local. Book your next trip today at visitmarylandscoast.org. All right, we got 20 seconds left, Don. Okay. We're just about ready to have our little feast. All right, so just be careful. Let some of that steam come out before we go ahead and reach in. Steam burns are definitely one of the worst. Okay. So. And grab a hold of the handle. Yep, I'm pretty sure that was your pot right there. Perfect. You set it right here. Yep. All right, you said. Let's go ahead and tray them up. Tray them up. Look at the size of those crabs. Looking good. All right. Go ahead and take off the gloves and we'll head on out to the table. Sounds good. All right. I hope you guys are hungry. Yeah. Ho, oh, oh, ho, all right. Oh my God. Excuse my reach. Okay. They look great. All right. I'm here with Matt, Deb, and Bugs. And Matt has never eaten a crab. So we're going to show Matt the process. So this is your mallet. Okay. You got a mallet. Right. All right. And then these little knives. Okay. Here's a little knife for you to right. get in there. All right. And first, I take the legs off. Okay. Just pull them. It might be a little hot. I got you. All right. Take your big crab legs. Yep. I brought a mallet over here. And break it in half. Sometimes you get some out of there. I'm not lucky today. Uh -huh. Then you take your mallet. Yep. Think like hammering. Yep. And you hold it. Right. And then you give hammer it, it down. Give it a smash. Yeah, give it a smash. Okay. Okay. All right. Then you try to peel, and you can use your little knife. There's gonna be a little knife for that. Try to peel the meat away from the claw itself. All right, so now you use the bottom of the claw to hold on to. Which is the bottom of the small Right one. here, yep, with the two little. Uh huh. And you put it in your mouth. Uh huh. And you're gonna pull it out. Pull the meat out. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Use these to uh, throw your shells in. Then you okay. Throw your shells in. It's a mess. Okay. Eating crabs is a mess, so right. expect to be messy. Okay, I got the guy off. Then take your knife, the bigger one probably for this. Yeah. And you're gonna slide it. I probably don't know all the terms of the actual crab. Slide it in the bottom above the shell from this side. See, there's like a little hole right there. Yeah. And slide it down. Uh -huh. And take your thumb and place it right there, uh -huh. and you're gonna pull it open. Put your thumb over here. <laughs> You're waiting to get squirted over there, Debbie. Oh, there, we go. oh, there you go. Uh -huh. And now we're going to take this and we're going to break it in half using okay, your hands. Go, get the middle out? Yeah, you can get the middle out. If you break it in half, it'll also come out. Okay. Like Move that. that yep, and scoot that to the side. Some okay. people eat that too. Oh, really? No judgment. No, okay. I mean, like, <laughs> what do they say? Win in Rome? Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. So crack it. Give it a good crack. Like right down the middle. Okay. Yes, okay. All right. Now you see this is the meat. the meat. All right, so then I crack it in half, squeeze it again, and then I open it up the other way. Now see all the meat there? Hang on a minute, I've still got it. Okay. Okay, so, so this bit up here. Um, take it, how did I have it? So take it like this, I'll mirror you. Yep. Squeeze it a little bit, just softly with your thumb and your other, like okay. you're squeezing yeah. it. Yeah. And then you take your thumbs inside and you open it up. I, oh, I got it. See, yeah. and there's all the uh, meat. Then you uh, use that little knife of yours. You can use your fingers. Uh -huh. But as my mom would want to get all the meat out, you right. get the, use the little knife and you scrape, scrape everything. And if you want, like, if you like to pick and set the meat aside so you can eat the meat all at once, or if you like to eat and pick oh, as you go. Idea. So you can, like, clean them all up and have a little pile. And have a little party after that. Right yes. On. This is your yeah. first time eating crabs. Yeah. What does the flavor compare to anything else you've eaten before? Um, 
No, I mean, it's unique. I've had seafood before. Like, being from New Zealand, I've had, like, we have crayfish, which is a, like, a, a different variety of, like, lobster. Um, the meat's kind of similar and, like, flaky, but no, I think, um, I mean, I got a, with the vinegar, it was beautiful. I mean, by itself, it's beautiful. Okay. So, yeah. So, you're so like, it's unique. unique so, taste. he's visiting for a few days. We might be eating crabs every night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would. All right, well, thanks for joining us for your first time ever. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Yeah. If you want your trade-in to be worth more down the road, then shop Toyota, the best resale value brand according to Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com for the third year in a row. On a $45,000 vehicle, see how these Toyotas are predicted to be worth thousands more than the average vehicle after the first five years of ownership. That's performance you can count on. Shop local inventory on buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Well, we heard all the great things that Ocean City has. So many programs. I'm a little wiped after some pickleball, basketball, then heading to eat crabs. But Maddie and Deb sure enjoyed them, and it was his first time. So just be ready and keep an eye out for our next adventure. Thanks for watching Maryland's Coast Adventures, brought to you by Worcester County, Maryland's Coast Naturally Cool, and by Ocean City, Maryland, somewhere to smile about.